Well, hi, hello, hello. So I just wanted to pop by here right quick. Who am I? I'm Pastor Garlinda Price with Common Ground Ministry. But I wanted to pop by, first of all, I know that maybe some of you noticed Marvin and I didn't do Bible study. Was it last night? We don't feel good, right? <laughs> And that's just the truth. I was like, Ugh, we, hey, Sylvia, we don't feel good in the Price household. So y'all be praying for us. But that's not what I got on here to tell you. But what I was noticing, I told Marvin a minute ago, he was thanking me for bringing him lunch. And I was like, oh, I'm glad yours is good. I said, mine was good, but I feel sick from eating it, right? And so, but what I wanted to get on here to share with you is if you haven't visited our Launch It 30 Days to Greatness page, I want you to do that because have you decided to participate in our 3333 challenge. Hey Montree, hey Jerry, hey Deacon Jerry. And so I wanna encourage you, if you've not visited our Launch at 30 Days to Greatness page, again, who am I if we've not had the, if I've not had the honor of meeting you, I'm Pastor Garland of Price of Common Ground Ministry. I'm also the author of Launch at 30 Days to Greatness, Six Figure Success with Biblical Principles, but we started a challenge over on our Launch It page, and it's the 3333 Challenge. And I'm going to share with you just really quickly what it is, but I want you to go over there to the page and then decide if you want to do it with us. There's nothing where you have to enroll or anything like that, but $33.33 a day equals a thousand dollars in sales thank you you're so sweet thank you deacon jerry marvin got me and then i got the kids so now we all feel bad but today is the first day where i actually felt like putting on clothes so god is good and thank you for praying for us i love you and um so 33 dollars and 33 cents a day in sales is all you have to make or earn every day to earn a thousand dollars in your business every month so so many people over on our launch at 30 days to greatness page have taken the challenge and just their results have been phenomenal and the feedback that I'm getting from all of them is how much fun they're having so I want to remind you on today that if you own a business God has called you into business there's gonna be times when you really truly despise that business right <laughs> There's going to be times when you're like, God, I'm not making all the money I want to make. I'm not getting all the customers I want to get. People are saying they're going to do this and then they don't do it. You're going to have those highs and lows in business, right? I was sharing with a friend of mine earlier, if Ray Kroc would have gotten annoyed every time somebody decided they didn't want his shake machine before he ended up owning McDonald's, right? He would maybe he wouldn't have become a billionaire owning McDonald's. But so it's the little things that we get frustrated by. But God reminded me the other day. And this is only part of what I wanted to share with you is that we have to have a three year, five year, 10 year mindset as it relates to business. We can't have a three month, six month, nine month mindset as it relates to success, right? But that's what happens is we'll see other people, they're doing so well, they're excelling and God is blessing them, or at least that's the way it looks because that's what they show on social media, right? But everybody isn't always honest about where they are in their business, where they are in their finances. They won't tell you that they're struggling or that they've had struggles. Most people, won't be honest and tell you that but it's the truth that there are times that business is a struggle and you know so what you want to do is if this is your first year in business and I didn't get on here to tell you this but hey since we're together let's just talk about it right hey gorgeous Violicia I hope I pronounced your name right I love your hair and your picture is so adorable and so if you if this is your first year in business and even if it's not let's say it's your second year or your third year right you got to you're going to begin to notice trends so if you would track your sales starting from last month what'll happen is if you say okay last month in January even if you don't remember what it was but you can guess it right in January I did this and then in February, I did that. Well, come December, you'll have January through December, and you'll be able to forecast for next year, right? So the first year I owned the salon, many eons ago, right? I didn't have anything to go on in terms of ownership that year of what the salon would do, but I, I could go on the prior years of what I did as a stylist, right? So I want to encourage you to begin to track and measure your sales, begin to track and measure what your business is doing, begin to track and measure how many people a day you're talking to, you know, who it is you're reaching, how you're reaching out to get business, and you got to do it off of social media. It can't just be on social media because the algorithms are changing so much is changing about social media and what it's actually doing is forcing us back to an old way of doing business called relationship building i know oh my god we gotta build relationships with people clutch the pearls <laughs> i'm just kidding right but i'm in all seriousness 
what it's doing is forcing us to get back to building relationships with people and going out and meeting people and connecting with people, right? And so we can't just sit behind the screen and say, this is how I'm going to build my million dollar empire. This is how I'm going to build my million dollar business because it's not going to happen like that, right? And so I think that so much, um, so much so, and this is what where God is, is dealing with me on. I hear the client a call, but this is where how God has been dealing with me. Let me turn the screen brightness back on. Is that there's no way around serving people and you can't serve people always without being belly to belly and making a connection, right? Because social media was originally designed to establish a relationship for us to meet, right? Because like Violetia and I have never met in person. Um, Kirsten and I have never met in person, I don't believe, even though we talk all the time on here. Felicia Goodman and I have not met in person, right? But Sylvia and I are friends. We haven't met in person, right? So Facebook and all these social media things were designed for us to make friends and to make connections, but then to take them offline. But somehow we got sidetracked. And this is not what I got on here to talk to you about, but let's just talk about it since we on here, right? But somehow we got sidetracked into thinking it was the only way, right? But it's not. I remember when I started my first salon, I had four clients. I was like, take the wheel, Jesus, and drive fast. I saw where Nene Leakes posted that earlier this week. <laughs> take the wheel, Jesus, and drive fast. But I had to go out in the town that I lived in and hand out flyers, hand out business cards, ask for referrals. And so, you know, you may not have seen where I've shared that I'm going to be doing a six-figure success webinar on February 17th. But if you want to come, it's $50. You'll get both of my books. It's a mindset book and a workbook, but it's not a cheap plug for that either. I mean, if you come, it's great. But if not, but I'm going to be teaching the things that God gave me through biblical principles to earn a six-figure income. But this is all I wanted to share with you today. If you want to make a thousand dollars a month in your business all you need to do is sell thirty three dollars and thirty three cents a day of some product or item in your business if you have a service related business service related yeah if you have a service related business but not a product like a tangible physical product like a lipstick or a book or a fork and a knife you know what I mean like a tangible product then you want to get one and so if you have a business where you say well Garlinda I don't have a tangible product then maybe you do want to jump on the webinar and then we can come up with ideas of what you could take that you already have maybe it won't cost you an arm and a leg and turn that into a tangible product so every day regardless of whether or not you have someone to provide a service for you still have something that you can sell and let's say you want to join us over there on launch at 30 days to greatness this right here on Facebook it's a free challenge we're just doing it and having fun but people are blowing their sales out the water one person sold 24 t-shirts in a day right I think they're just extremely competitive <laughs> somebody else had two hundred and twenty two dollars in cosmetic sales in a day the other person had a new coaching client a new coaching client under contract and so it's just encouragement and motivation for all of us to say hey we can do it but the one thing to remember in business and I'm gonna go on this is have fun if God called us to do these businesses and he called us to be passionate about it he also called us to have fun with it so let's not let the be the begrudgingness of it or the drudgery part of the work of it take the joy and steal the passion out of the gift that God has given us because he gave it to us as a blessing we don't want to then begin to treat it like a curse does that make sense because I've been guilty of that of doing that in the past like oh the business is oh so hard you know <laughs> like it's like I'm building bricks without straw right so I just want to encourage you be passionate have fun join us over on launch at 30 days to greatness but if you want to earn ten thousand dollars a month in your business you want to make three hundred and thirty three dollars a day in your business Right, so $333 a day in your business, that's for 30 days working straight, you're gonna earn $9,999 in your business. It's just money, come on, let's do it. But let's have a good time doing it and let's not be begrudging about it, but let's actually take the time and say, you know what, $1,000, $10,000, that's not hard. Just start with the $33.33 challenge and let's grow together from there. So I'll talk to you all soon. Again, if I haven't had a chance to meet you, I'm Garlinda Price. I'm a pastor with Common Ground Ministry with my amazing husband, Marvin Price. And I'm also the author of Launch It 30 Days to Greatness, Six-Figure Success with Biblical Principles. Okay, so I'll talk to you all soon and God bless you. Bye.